Japan is building the future of high-speed rail. Maglev, the next generation of trains. Imagine traveling between Tokyo and Osaka, a distance of over 500 kilometers. Today, a regular Shinkansen bullet train covers this journey in about 2.5 hours. But what if this time could be cut in half? Or even reduced to one hour? This is not science fiction, but a real project currently underway in Japan, the Kuo Shinkansen. The country's first commercial maglev train line. Maglev technology allows trains to travel at speeds exceeding 500 km per hour without touching the tracks. However, why has this revolutionary rail project faced decades of delays? What benefits will it bring to Japan and the world? And can maglev technology transform global transportation? The way the first Shinkansen did in the 1960s. The history of Japan's high-speed trains. For decades, Japan has been a global leader in high-speed rail technology. In 1964, the year of the Tokyo Olympics, Japan introduced the world's first high-speed train, the Shinkansen. This train revolutionized transportation, cutting travel time between Tokyo and Osaka from six to seven hours to just four hours. Later, technological advancements further reduced the journey to 2.5 hours. The Shinkansen system provided huge economic benefits, improving logistics, passenger mobility, and regional connectivity. However, despite its success, traditional bullet trains have. A major limitation friction between wheels and tracks prevents them from reaching higher speeds. To overcome this, engineers turned to magnetic levitation technology, which eliminates wheel track contact entirely. How does maglev technology work? Maglev magnetic levitation allows trains to move without wheels using superconducting electromagnets to achieve two key functions. Lift the train above the track, eliminating friction. Propel the train forward using magnetic fields. At high speeds, the train floats a few centimeters above the track, reducing air resistance and ensuring a smooth ride. In 2015, a Japanese maglev train LO series set a world speed record of 603 km per hour. This is faster than most commercial airplanes on domestic routes. But if maglev is so advanced, why hasn't it been widely implemented yet? Kuo Shinkansen, the future or an endless project? The Kuo Shinkansen is Japan's first commercial maglev railway designed to connect Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka. Total route length, approximately 438 kilometers. Planned speed, 500 kilometers per hour. Tokyo to Nagoya travel time, 40 minutes instead of 90 minutes on the current Shinkansen. Tokyo to Osaka travel time, one or seven minutes instead of 2.5 hours. Total project cost over $64 billion. The project was approved in 2009, with the first section Tokyo Nagoya originally set to open in 2027. However, the launch date has been postponed to 2034. While the full Tokyo Osaka route may not be completed before 2045, the main reason for the delay is a conflict with Shizuoka Prefecture. Why is construction delayed? The maglev route passes through several regions, but Shizuoka has been the biggest obstacle. A tunnel along the line would pass under the Oi River Basin, a vital water source for the region. The former Shizuoka governor, Haida Kawakatsu, opposed the project, fearing water loss would harm agriculture and tea production. As a result, construction was halted for years. However, in 2024, Kawakatsu resigned and the new governor allowed geological surveys to resume. This means construction may restart soon, but the timeline remains uncertain. 
How will maglev transform Japan and the world? The maglev railway will not just be a technological achievement but also a major economic development. Shorter travel times, major Japanese cities will become more connected, boosting the economy. Eco-friendly alternative to aviation, maglev emits 90% less CO than airplanes. Technology export opportunities, Japan is already in talks with the US, China, and Europe about maglev projects. China is also developing its own maglev system. In 2021, China unveiled its first commercial maglev train 600 km per hour. The country is now building its first intercity maglev railway in Hunan province, sparking a global maglev race. Despite technical challenges and bureaucratic delays, the Kuo Shinkansen remains one of the world's most ambitious railway projects. If Japan overcomes these obstacles, it will once again set the global standard for transportation technology, just like it did with the Shinkansen in 1964. But will Maglev be launched on time, or will it remain an unfinished mega project? What do you think about the future of Maglev technology? Leave your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more updates.